Hello boys and girls, we have a Wednesday, March 20th today. I'm gonna be mowing my own lawn today, sharpening some mower blades, showing you how I get that done, uh, and talking about some experiments I have going on with my lawn. So, a lot in store for you today. Let's see if we can get to it. Uh, by the way, I doubt anyone has ever seen a rose bush that looked quite like this. Are you ready? Sure uh, I trimmed this thing back, back in the fall, and my roommate thought I didn't have any clue what I was doing, but have you ever seen a rose bush that look quite as gorgeous as this? And I bet you uh, that the answer is maybe. So uh, that's what we got there. But let's show you what we're going to do with the mower. I'm going to show you how to change out a blade real quick. <laughs> There are two things you want to do whenever you flip your mower over. Number one is you want to switch this fuel switch to the side. And the second thing you want to do is you want to pull out the spark plug cap here so that it doesn't accidentally start and you're left with nothing but a, a nub instead of a hand. Alright, let's see how this looks. It also helps if you have your tools with you so that you can do this. All right, guys, now we're moving to my garage. Once these uh, mower blades are off, you're gonna wanna sharpen it with a sharpening stone. I use a Dremel kit. You don't have to use a Dremel kit, but it's something you can use if you need it. Let's sit you down here, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing over here. We are ready for war. Alright guys, it's important to remember with these mulching blades that you put the blades on in the right order. And the right order is always the cutting blade goes on first, and then the suction blade goes on after that. So I'm going to show you how that looks. Make sure that you just tighten these just a little bit past hand pass tight. Uh, put your tools away, get ready to cut some grass. All right, flip the fuel switch back. Also, put the spark plug cap back on so that it'll start up when you go to start it up. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about a couple different mowing techniques that I have found scientifically interesting but also effective. Uh, the first one is mowing height. Uh, basically, the taller you cut your grass, the deeper the roots will grow, and also the more your grass will shade out weeds. The shorter you cut your grass, the more shallow your roots grow, and it allows for weeds to penetrate and get sunlight and basically grow. Uh, 
So I have Bermuda glass, grass, and it's a no-no for me to cut more than probably two and a half, three inches. But I'm, uh, I'm doing a little experimenting, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna cut it at four inches. One more thing, guys. When I mow a lawn, I like to cut two passes on each edge of the lawn, and then I fill in between in order to do it really fast. 